Oh my gosh, I'm about to cry. This is this is actually really emotional. Like I didn't expect it to be so emotional. But it is and it's okay. It's okay. This is all this is this is actually borderline therapeutic. I'm not even gonna hold you guys. This feels so good to do. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deja the Dawn if you're new here and I am so happy to be back. I'm giving y'all another video period like come on coming out with the videos because where have I been? Ugh. But anyways, I'm so excited to be back again with another video. Um, I've really been trying to get out videos about like basically like self discovery videos and kind of being on my late bloomer journey tip. And I just want to like really be out there and kind of share like what I've been going through in life, things I'm trying to do to better myself as a person. Because if you don't know, I'm 27 years old, where I am in life, I feel sort of like a late bloomer. I'm not going to lie. I feel like a late bloomer and I'm still trying to get myself together and I'm about to be 28 very, very soon, guys. So I am close, close, close to 30 and I want to have my stuff together for real, y'all. Like I do. So I've been taking kind of like a self-love journey, self-exploration journey to kind of figure out where I need to be in life, where I want to be in life, what is best for me, what am I aligning with? And I saw this video on TikTok, right? And it was basically like an interview to your future self. And I thought that was so cool. So this girl, she had done this video where she had questions for her future self in six months. She had questions for herself. And then six months later, she went back and answered those questions. And I thought that was so freaking cool. And it's so nice to see like this girl, she actually like achieved a lot of her dreams that she had. Um, a lot of the questions that she was able to answer like had positive outcomes and that I thought that was like so amazing and I was like oh my gosh I don't really talk actually let's scratch that I talk to my future self a lot but I've never really asked my future self any questions like are you happy where do you want to be in life etc cetera, etc cetera. like I thought that was so cool. So I've taken the time to jot down some questions that I feel like my future self would want to answer. Right now, today is November 12th. So six months from now, that means February of 2024, I'm going to come back to this video and answer all of the questions that I'm asking myself today. Like, isn't that so cool? <laughs> I tried to tailor the questions to like different aspects of my life. Like I know the goals that I have in line and I want to make sure that my questions are tailored to each goal I have, if that makes sense, just to kind of keep myself accountable for what I'm doing. Um, because <laughs> look y'all, unless there's something tragic happens in six months, I would love for all my, um, answers to my questions to be, yes, I did this. Yes, I did that. Yes, I achieved that. And I cannot wait y'all. So May, 2024, stay tuned. Just know those six months are going to fly, baby. They're going to fly. So without further ado, or further ado, whatever it do, let's get into the video y'all. Woo child. Let me get some of this kombucha. If you know, you know. I was literally debating between kombucha and wine, but your girl chose the healthy route, trying to keep this gut health in check, baby. As you guys know, I have my handy dandy notebook and I'm going to be looking at the questions down here because I wrote them down and I don't remember them off the top, so I'm gonna have to look. So I'm just gonna go through the questions and I'm gonna kind of explain like why I ask these questions to myself and then for my future self, um, I'm gonna try to like split video this or whatever and I'm so excited to see how I'm gonna look. I'm excited to see like where I'm gonna be. Am I gonna have the same background? Am I gonna be somewhere else? Like, oh my God, that's so exciting. Like, all right, so question number one that I wrote down for myself is, how are you doing with your finances? Have we been saving like we said we would? Girl. Um, If you watched my previous video on um tips that I would have given my younger self, then you would know that me being financially literate would have been one of the things I told my younger self to do. I am just now picking up the pieces um, at 27 years old and I'm just being transparent. 
I'm just not picking up the pieces to like me being financially illiterate um, in my younger days. And I'm trying to save because I want a new place. I want certain things in life. Like my grandfather has told me I have a champagne taste with beer money. So I need to get that together. So dear Deja, first of all, let me give myself a cute little introduction. Hold up y'all. Dear Deja, hi, how are you girl? Um, this is me. I'm you. This is me in November of 2023, November 12th to be exact. I'm going to come back to you in six months. Okay, girl. So May 13th, I'm going to talk to you again. I would like you to answer your previous me questions about you. Let's do a six month update on life. I hope that you are able to accomplish everything you said you would. And I'm so proud of you, Deja. I love you so much. You mean everything to me. Damn. <laughs> All right, so let's bring that back a little bit. I want to go back over question number one. How are you doing with your finances? And have we been saving money like we said we would? You better been saving that money, Deja. I'm not playing with you. Basically, how I plan to do this is, like I said, this video might look a little crazy now, but in six months, it'll all make sense. So I'm going to go straight to question number two. You know, I got to give myself my little persona, so... <laughs> So girl, what's going on in your love life? I'm I'm so I'm so ugh. But what's going on in your love life, girl? Have you found your princess charming? Are you dating? Are you in a relationship? What's going on? Are you still single? Are you still single? Cuz if you are, what's going on, baby? You're a catch. But yes, tell me tell me now. Tell me now I'm listening. I'm listening. What's tea? I'm not even going to hold you guys. This is so much fun because it's almost like a diary from you to yourself. It's, I don't know. It's just like a video diary. I think it's so cool. Like this is actually really fun to do. Okay. So let's go to question number three. Are you happy with everything around you? Can you genuinely smile at life? Yeah. Can you? Are you smiling? I hope you are smiling. I hope you're smiling so much. Hope you're really happy. Um... <sighs> Guys, I didn't expect this to actually be emotional, but I really hope that future me is so happy. Oh my gosh. This is actually really emotional. Like, I didn't expect it to be so emotional, but it is, and it's okay. It's okay. This is, this is, this is actually borderline therapeutic. I'm not even going to hold you guys. This feels so good to do. All right, so let's go ahead to number four, guys. We got to, whew. We gotta park up. This one's about my career. So how are we looking career-wise? Are we still at our current job? Who, girl, are we still at that current job? Because <laughs> you be threatening to quit every day. So did you follow through? Did you follow through? Did you quit? <laughs> did you get a new job? <laughs> did we switch our careers like we said we would? Did we switch? What about the UX design class that you took? Did you finish that class? I hope you finished that class because you've been putting in a lot of work in November and you have a few more months on that class, so you better have finished it. Don't embarrass me, girl. And honestly, honestly, goodness, if you didn't finish it, it's okay, but spill the tea, girl. What's up? What's up? This is going to be so fun to look back in in May. Like, I don't even want to look at this video again. I, after I put it out, I don't want to look at it until May because this is so fun. All right, so number five. Um, did we decide that Richmond is our official place to move? Did we move to Richmond? Are we there? Are we in Richmond? Or do we still have the same background? Are we still here? Are we still at home? Are we still here? Are we still at home? Are we in Richmond, Virginia? Did we move somewhere else? Like, what's tea, girl? Where we living at? I say this to myself. I, I told myself that Richmond, Virginia was going to be the place that I wanted to move. And I still feel like that is a place that I want to move. Um... I don't know why every time I go down there, I'm like, Ugh. but I also really like it down there. There's something about the vibe. I feel like I would really fit in. I've been wanting to move down to Richmond for a while. And mind you, I'm from the DMV. And so I'm so used to like this fast paced life and stuff that I feel like it would be nice to go somewhere else to a new city, like a more artsy city and kind of slow down. So I really hope like even if I didn't move by May that I'm still in the hopes and like in line with still moving. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Yeah. <laughs> Number six. How is YouTube? 
how is YouTube? Did we reach our 1K subscribers? Like, did we do it? Are we getting any brand deals, girl? You bringing us some money. You bringing us some money. You getting monetized. Are you getting monetized? Baby, I need to know if we bringing in a little bit of coin because last time I checked, your bank account was looking a little crazy, child. Why would I talk about myself like that? I hope I'm really in my YouTube bag still and I really hope I do see growth and hopefully I do have 1K by May. Um, I have 319 now, so, you know, let us pray that we can gain... 700 more subscribers by then all right and my last one is related to business so how is business going are we still making rugs did we ever expand our business what's the tea tough girl rugs what's good what you doing what you doing so i put this because i have taken a, a little break from rug tufting because i really want to focus on youtube and content creation but I really miss making rugs and I hope to get back to it very, very soon. Um, Tough Girl Rugs is something that I put a lot of money, heart, and soul into. I do also want to showcase some of my rug stuff on this channel. I do plan on, like I said, making my area rugs soon. I have some clients um, we're in the we're in the makes of trying to figure out a few designs. So I hope to bring you along with my journey and like what it takes to be a rug tufter because, if, like I said, it's not an easy job at all, but it is a very rewarding job. So I really hope that I'm still in business. I also hope that, I, that I'm able to like expand in like fabrics and prints and different type of stuff. Um, I'm not going to say too much, but just stay tuned, guys. And that is it. That is all. I want to thank you guys so much. This is probably the shortest video that I've made so far, but it's so important to make this because in six months, I just want to look back at this and be like, wow, girl look at you like you did it you did it I know that six months down the road I pray I pray and I hope and I pray that everything is going to go up from here I I oh my god I always sound like I'm about to cry because I am always about to cry because I'm so passionate about my future like my future is the only thing that could really get me about like get me worked up in a positive way you know, guys, one day my camera is going to stop hating on me and stop cutting off on me. Like, uh, let's manifest a new camera for Christmas, please, y'all. I put that on my Christmas list because hey, your girl need a little new camera. I'm going to still probably keep this camera, but I, girl, I just need a new camera. I need a few cameras, actually. But thank you guys again for watching the video. I hope you guys stick around for six months. And if you're new or if you see this after or what, what, what am I trying to say? If you ended up following me or subscribing to me, I hope you guys find this video. Or if you subscribe to me in the future, I hope that you guys see this original video. And I cannot wait to see what this looks like in six months. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great rest of your November and also a great rest of your 2023. I'll be back with some more videos. I love you all. Bye.